time. Rock, paper, scissors didn't seem to work out so well. Oh, so, great. I am thinking of a number between 1 and 10. And whoever gets as closest will go first this time. Stumpy, you can guess first. Stumpy, Stumpy. 25. All right. Um, Rob, I think you've got a good shot here. Yes. Prices, prices, I don't watch that show. One dollar. Yes! Yeah. Well, the number was pi, so I guess we're going to give it to Rob. Yeah. So, Rex, he wants to get to the number. There's first. never something wrong. Now, for this game, the captain gets to spin the wheel for his own game. But first, let me remove story without breaking the wheel, hopefully. And, alrighty, someone, um, you ma'am, pick a wedge at random. Random wedge. All right, shift left, shift right. Woo, we will see if that is what we get, or if one of these other lovely wedges is selected. All right, Rob? That was not so wrong. All right. Excellent. This is an extra we made wheel. Is that right? Is that playing a classic game called Five Things. Now for this game, they're going to need to select one player to leave the room. Ty. Ty, you have been chosen. Go away. Oh, I'll make sure it wasn't cheap. Good job, James. Can't trust that Ty. <laughs> All right. So in this game, I'm going to have to get five activities and suggestions from the audience. Now, the wheel should have been right. Oh, it did. You're right. Okay. So, everyone give me a sport. Quidditch. Quidditch. The first activity is Quidditch. It's okay, I'm a member. Yes, we do have a Quidditch team here in the state. Thank you. Yes, Rob is also on the Quidditch team. All right, for our second activity, something that you think would probably be a bad idea for a first date. Shower, driving off the cliff. Driving off of a cliff. <laughs> Family show, sir. Family show. Let's show say that. Wait, wait, wait. It's really bad. You always shower for a first date. Don't worry about that, All right, for our third activity, give me something you would do while on vacation. Play Jeopardy. Snorkeling. Sleeping is not a very exciting activity, but I do that on vacation as well. Um, we're on. He's broken our wheel. Wait, who the heck are you? This is what you're I have bubble gum. Can you use my bubble gum? Hold it, hold it near the audience. I'm not in that. We need more activities. Um, all right. Well, there you go. Have fun writing. For our fourth activity, I yes, thank you, emergency room repairman Rob. Um, for our fourth activity, let's get something that you would only do in the winter. Hunt spiders. Or hunting spiders. Everyone knows that they're much more dangerous when it's cold. It's and for our final activity, just give me the first activity that comes to mind. Not sleeping. Hunting. I heard hunting. I heard hunting. Well, that's the first one that's inspiring. Changing light bulbs. Changing light bulbs. There we go. All right, our first activity is changing light bulbs. So now we've got five perfectly ordinary, regular activities like Quidditch and hunting spiders. But. What our team is going to do is when we're, we bring Ty back in, they're going to have to get Ty to guess the activities he chose with miming and gibberish. They're just made up words that mean nothing. But Ty is an expert at a lot of these things. I've seen him hunt spiders the size of a Volkswagen. So 
We're going to have to change things up if we want to have any challenge at all. So we're going to have to switch out a few items in our activities into something you wouldn't normally find there. So Quidditch. Normally, if I remember my books correctly, when you play Quidditch, you're riding on a broomstick. So instead of a broomstick, Give me something that you would never find growing on a tree. Platypus. I heard a platypus. <laughs> so instead of riding on a broomstick, I will be riding on a platypus. And instead of a quaffle, what is a large animal? Or a elephant. I heard a giraffe. So instead of using a quaffle or ball for people who haven't read the books, we will be using a giraffe. Now, what's our second activity, Rob? Uh, the second one is driving off a cliff, sir. Driving off a cliff, all right. Anyone can drive off a cliff in a car. But instead of a car, I want you guys to give me something you would buy at Target. Pizza. Pizza. Instead of a car, it is a pizza. And, but you see, no one should drive off a cliff alone. So we're going to need a celebrity to be in the pizza car. Gary Busey. <laughs> Gary Busey. There we go. So tell me driving off of a cliff in a pizza with Gary Busey. The third activity I believe was snorkeling. Yes, all right. So when I go snorkeling, I like to actually have a snorkel. But that's a little too easy for time. So instead of a snorkel, I want you guys to give me... Electric eel. There we go, an electric <laughs> eel. I snorkel with those too, but they're usually not part of my snorkeling equipment. Is that snorkeling? <laughs> the snorkel. The snorkel. Oh. Placing a snorkel with an electric eel. They can, they can bend into the right shape. That's true. Um, and instead of having flippers on Ty's feet, he's oh, going to have something he would only wear for the snow. Yes. Skis, all right. So he will be wearing skis instead of flippers. Our fourth activity was spider hunting, I believe. So I don't know about you guys, but when I hunt spiders, I usually do it with a rolled up newspaper or a shoe. The tie is going to be hunting spiders with something much larger. A A helicopter. The tie is hunting spiders with a helicopter. Instead of his gun, yes. Depends on how big the spiders are. And instead of spiders, Ty's going to be hunting something harmless and adorable. Kittens! I heard chipmunks. Ty is hunting chipmunks with a helicopter. Yes, Ty is. What is our protective Changing light bulbs. Changing light bulbs. All right. Pretty easy, innocuous activity. But instead of light bulbs, Tiger is going to be changing some chihuahua. I heard chihuahua. Ty's going to be changing a chihuahua. But normally, unless it's a very low hanging light bulb, I have to climb up on a ladder or a step stool if I want to change the light bulbs. Instead of climbing up on a ladder, Ty is going to climb up on, oh, the, the, on the Jolly Green <laughs> So, because Ty is such an expert at this game, not only does the team have to only communicate with mime and gibberish, but also they cannot actually perform the activity themselves. They just have to set up the activity and the environment with their mime and see if Ty can figure it out by himself. They are going to have five minutes to try to get the five things. So, if you guys are ready, let me could review the list. Captain Rob? Well, we figured this out. <laughs> <laughs> we need more time. All right. All right. <clears throat> the first activity is Quidditch. Instead of a broom, I will be using a platypus. Instead of a quaffle, Ty will be using a giraffe. The second activity is driving off of a cliff. Instead of using a car, driving a car, Ty will be driving a pizza. And instead of uh, and the person he will drive, be driving with will be Gary Busey. Third activity is snorkel. Instead of a snorkel, you will have an electric eel. And instead of flippers, you will have skis. Fourth activity is hunting spiders. Uh, instead of a gun, you will be using a helicopter, and instead of spiders, you will be hunting chipmunks. Uh, the fifth activity is changing light bulbs, and instead of changing a light bulb, you will be changing a chihuahua, 
And instead of changing, uh, uh, using a ladder to change the light bulb, he will be using the Jolly Green Giant. Thank you, Stumpy! Of course you're this All right, so, assuming that the red team is ready, I will soon go get Ty, bring him back in, and he is going to have to figure out what as many of these activities are as he can. Although, that sounds like pretty much a typical week in the life of Ty. So, I guess we'll see how that works out. Red team, are you ready to bring back your teammate? Yeah, sure. Good, that's the confidence I like to hear. <laughs> Let's bring back Ty and James. Ah! Uh -huh. 
Grinch being a chaser, the broom is a platypus, <laughs> and the guapo is a giraffe. There we go! Yeah, maybe. 